This is Raphael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion here at State Farm Arena, where the Atlanta Hawks has lost to the Houston Rockets 122 to 115. The Rockets were up by as many as 23 points, but the Hawks battled back. They were able to cut the lead down to three late in the fourth quarter, but wasn't able to pull it out. We got a chance to ask Lloyd Pierce why he think the Hawks hasn't been able to close games out late in the fourth quarter. I thought we, we dropped it, you know, we, we dropped the, the end of the third quarter was what bit us. I think we go down 14, 13, 14, we we're, were down three. We climbed right back in and we outscored them 30 to 23 in the fourth. So I don't say we lost it in the fourth tonight. I thought we dug a hole at the end of the third. Um, and, you know, you're playing guys every minutes and you're trying to get good rotation. You're trying to keep fresh energy and fresh bodies. Uh, I was trying to defend him. I thought Trey Bembry, you know, he only played eight minutes. He has five fouls, but I think he really affected and impacted James with those fouls. Um, and that's part of, you know, how you rotate guys in and you keep fresh bodies and you're physical. But it was the end of the third quarter that hurt us tonight. Um, again, we outscored them 30 to 23 in the fourth. They shoot 27 to 26 percent. You know, you know, a couple 50-50 plays. We get beat on the back cut. In the fourth, we give up an offensive rebound, and Eric Gordon hits a late three as well. And so some of those plays that went their way timely was good for them tonight, but I thought our guys competed in the fourth tonight. As usual, Trey Young was spectacular, recording a triple-double with 42 points, 10 assists, and 13 rebounds. John Collins added 17 points, 14 rebounds, and five block shots. Both players talked about the effort in the team despite the loss. Trey, you got the triple-double, but what can you say about your guys and the effort that they showed tonight? Uh, it's, I mean, it, we've been giving that type of effort to a lot this this past few games, and uh, it's super exciting to see, especially now that we got a lot of our guys back healthy. Um, I mean, it's, it's been good to see, and uh, we just have to figure out how to f close games. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably the most bittersweet thing in sports is knowing that you, you know, played hard, fought hard, competed, did all the right things and still lose. Um, but I feel like that's where you, you know, get experience and grow, but it's tough to accept because uh, – I think everybody tonight played their hardest out and wanted to win it just as much as everyone. James Harden also had a triple-double scoring 41 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Clint Capella added 22 points and 22 rebounds. Yet still, it was hard for the Rockets to close out the Hawks. We got a chance to ask P.J. Tucker about what he thought was the difference in the game. Um, I think you saw a veteran leadership on our team, guys doing what they do. Uh, you know, picking up defense a little bit, you know, higher on the ball screens, uh, make a trade get downhill, making them make somebody else make a play, make other people make shots, uh, you know, uh, and the little things, 50-50 balls, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, you know, that stuff over time is what wins games. The Hawks dropped to eight and 30, and the Houston Rockets are 25 and 11. The Hawks will travel to Washington on Friday to face the Wizards, and then on to Brooklyn to face the Nets on Sunday. Make sure you follow the Three Point Conversion at the Three Point Conversion and the ThreePointConversion.com. Remember, it's where fans and opinions matter.